reason. Oh, snap. Wait, I can't record. Hey, yo, we lit. So now I ain't got to stay up till like damn near 10 o'clock to redownload the stream. Yeah. Any old way. Welcome back, people, to another episode of the Run Those Games podcast. We is now officially on episode 77. Be about what? That's 23 away from hitting that big one hundo. That being said, folks, appreciate y'all for listening whenever we do record and or y'all catch the live streams, whatever. Now, it should be noted this podcast is available on all listening platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and of course, Anchor, which makes it easy for us to get our podcast heard on multiple platforms. As well as, if you listen to this thing on our podcast, make sure you rate this thing five stars, brings in more listeners, brings in more support, more support is good for us and good for you as a totality. If you listen to this thing on Spotify, just share share it everywhere, goddamn it. You got Instagram, you got Twitter, hit that share button and bring in people, damn it, because you know you got friends who are interested in the same shit that you interested in. Stop playing. Now, we got another reoccurring guest on the show. He is the Corporal of Bench Mob. My man, Kenny Cap. Say what it is, folks. Man, what's up with y'all, man? It's your boy, Kenny Compo. You know what I'm saying? Big, big comp. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. Bitch mob. All right. Hold up. Is my man in here? Oh, yeah, he is. What? And. Y'all ain't hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. No, we heard oh, you. Heard? Oh, baby, baby. And we got. Bench mob general. Nah, CEO, man. CEO. Nah, dog, we militant in here. We got bench mob general up in here. You feel me? You see him in all the live stream. Most of the time, in most of the games we play, <laughs> capping harder than anybody in the group can cap. My man, any cap. Say what's good to the people, Mike. What it is. It's the uh, noted by the RTG. I am the quote unquote general of Bench Mob, even though I don't lead a goddamn I thing in this. That. I I don't I don't lead nothing in here. But uh, according to them, I started Bench Mob, but y'all know what it is. Then the sign, then the cap, uh, then the cell. Y'all know what it is. Part of the RTG. Glad to be here. Love it. Love it. Listen, shout out Rob, yo. <laughs> And we also got my man, one of the OGs. You already know who this man is. Six foot four, nigga, built like a bear, scared of what he's built like. My man, Big. First off, fucking bears are scary, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you'd be scared if you saw a bear in the woods, nigga. I was gonna accept my fame to start beating off. I'm gonna die anyways. <laughs> just gonna whip your meat out in front of the bear. Yup. <laughs> Then he's just going to stop and look at you. Turn his head sideways. What are you doing? <laughs> like that was on South Park. Jacket it, jacket it, jacket it. <laughs> <laughs> but what's good, what's good. You know, we here to talk games and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. All and we got my man's L Bender of the Year. My brother, Ram B. Simone. Here, what's going on, people? It's your boy Rambo, aka Rambissimo, aka the greatest of the greatest. You know what I'm saying? What's popping with y'all? All right, now, uh, first things first, y'all got any announcements or anything like that? Y'all want to get out the way? Uh, check out the not the most recent, but the one before. Your boy Rambo made an appearance on GMG, man. You know what I'm saying? Made it big time. Acting like I ain't know nobody for a week. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go show love to the homies over at GMG. Once again, appreciate y'all for having me, man. I'm on there again, man. All right. Big, you got anything, man? Uh, you know, we got new sub badges, new emotes, merch on the way. Uh, we was trying to be consistent with this YouTube stuff, and it's really my fault but the coordinators on my end had me scrap two videos that were supposed to be uploaded but yeah still dealing with that get your shit together all right danny you got anything mike solid ass no. all right <laughs> uh dennison you got anything mike content but content potentially coming in 3099 <laughs> he, he means by the end of the year. Nope. 
3099. You keep playing, it's going to be by the end of the month. <laughs> so 3000. Uh, by the end of the year. All right. Well, uh, folks, y'all know for like the longest time, my merch has been on a spread shop or yeah, spreadshop.com or whatever, but we're about to make the transition over to Teespring. Um, yeah, so go ahead and keep a lookout for that. We got a bunch of new stuff coming down the pipeline. I'm aiming for at least my first couple new designs and whatnot uh, before my birthday. So stay on the lookout. That's all I can tell y'all. Now, let's go ahead and jump on into the show. First things first, Borderlands 3, a game that I want. I'd be trying to play this game, but I just get distracted by shiny shit. And I just be tired. Um, they're adding more DLC to this already like hundred hour plus fucking game. This time they're bringing Craig back, and if y'all don't know, Craig was one of my favorite characters in Borderlands because he was a psycho, and it was so much fun to play as him. Um, only difference is I don't think we actually get to play as Craig in this DLC. We actually just it's like a side side like type quest thing where we're essentially yeah, like he just has a cameo. We're basically just playing. Like, the world is his mind, essentially. There's a bunch of wild shit. Uh, I'm actually going to play the trailer right here. I'm not going to play any sound because it's, it's extremely freaking loud. Like, extremely freaking loud. Essentially, we're exploring the mind of a psycho. And who is the king of all psychos? Craig, so, you know. Now, if, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this does come out, uh, I think, what, September? There goes. September 19th, actually. So it comes out that Saturday before my birthday. So I'll probably be playing it. Or at least attempt to play it. I still got to beat the main fucking story. So there's I'm that. Broke, nigga. Give us something to take take a break off of 2K. I mean, we have not been playing 2K in general. <laughs> you said September, didn't you? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> we taking breaks? I don't know about the break. Oh, your build ass. You can't take a break. Okay. No I mean, anyway. I, I sent him a bill, but we is, hey, Mo, can you, is this? Do you have to pay for this, or do, if you got the deluxe edition, you get it free? I would imagine if you had the deluxe edition, you're gonna get it free. Because I'm not mistaken, the deluxe edition comes with everything that will come down the pipeline. Yes, sir. To my understanding, that's how it works. I mean, what what y'all thoughts on this? I actually want to see Craig come back. I miss my dog. I'm always I'm for a game adding content as long as the content is good. We know games that have put out new content. And it's like yo, y'all could have kept this shit. <laughs> y'all could have kept the whole shit. Yeah, whenever a game brings out good content, I'm all for it. Seems like it's gonna be good content. You got no complaints from me, ten four. 10 4. All right. Rambo, what you think about it, Mike? I'm with it. Y'all know how I am about Borderlands, bro. Hey, another reason to get on it. I ain't even did the DLC that's already on it. Facts. But, uh, hell, it's, just, it's something else to play, bro. I ain't tripping. Shoot. I'm going to play it regardless. He said, we're going. I got big vacation coming up. I'm all for it. Uh, Kenny, what do you think about the DLC edition? With the DLC, man, I think, you know what I'm saying, uh, Borderlands, they got a lot of content, and I'm only, like, 10 hours in that thing, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it all that way, you feel me? They definitely do got a shitload of content. I ain't gonna lie, though. Borderlands just be fun just playing, like, when it's just us, to oh, be yeah. honest with you. We be I miss dying. Borderlands. I miss with Borderlands, because they give each character their own little personality, man. It's just different, man. That probably is one thing that they actually do really good. Like, for one, not all the characters play the same, which is great. And two, they actually have like their own like unique banter's in between each other, mm -hmm. which makes it entertaining. Um, this one's gonna be a quick little hitter, by the way. Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse Two, dear freaking lord, is adding more DLC. Um. There's not really much of an opinion thing on this. I just added this because I was just surprised that this game is still adding content. This game is how old now? Oh, by the way, just so you know, one, I'm already going to get my 
for me. It's, it's very old. Uh, always for new content. But I was playing the game the other day, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my one of my friends, he got a son. You know, I think he's how old is he? Dude is thirty something. He's got a son who plays. You know, he has 40, 40, day, 40 days played on that game. How he spent the entire night trying to beat this nigga's ass. It was very fun, but he was. I, I was seeing the combo. He's like, "Yo, like, I'm good at this game, but he different." He, he, yeah, he he was different. He definitely was different. Do you have it on PC? I don't think I do now. You might have to change that because you might have to do a stream now. Right. But uh, here's how bad it was. Here's how bad because I me I pretty much got called out to come play the game. This is how bad it was. They call, they hit me up to down to download the game because I didn't have it installed. I had to install the game and play that night. And they called some other dude. One of our other friends, and uh, they called him and woke him up out his sleep. That like that's how much they wanted to beat him. They woke him up out his sleep and made me get on to download the game just to fight him. So I y'all didn't get to fight him. I was always on his team. That ain't even fair. It's not. It, there was one point. It was me, the dude that they called out. That I got called out of sleep, and my boy's son, all on the same team. So y'all aren't even trying to be friends anymore is what I'm hearing. I know, it was all fun. Here's the thing. We was like here it was three v three, right? We was definitely running ones. We was definitely just watching to fight somebody, and if you jumped in, then you got jumped. Yeah, we might we really might cause that game's co op, isn't like the story and shit. Mm-hmm. Hey yo, uh, y'all is y'all the, about it? Well the sto- the actual story Hello. no, but they have the Parallel quest and the raids. What y'all got it on? I got it on PC. Matter of fact, hold on. I got it on P4, man. I actually have it on PS4 and Xbox, so I can play it on either one of those. I think I got it on PC because I think I had all the fixings for it. I'm about to open up my Come Steam on, account right now. Yeah, yeah Xenoverse 2. PS4 and Xbox. Just tell me which console and I'll get it. Man. It was free on PS Plus one month. I forgot what month it was. It was a long time ago. Though. I think it was like two years ago because I think we covered that actually. I sure. never finished it though. I got like seventy five percent through. What is that, Biggie? What was it more than two years ago that I got my PS four? It was just about. Cause if that's the case, I'm pretty sure during that podcast I was probably mad because I just bought the game. Possibly. I wouldn't doubt it, but yeah, let me check my library real quick. I'm pretty sure I do have it. Uh, but yeah, they're still adding DLC to this freaking game. And apparently this thing, I have no time played on it. We might have to change that real, real And I have an update for it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. It's a very fun game if you have friends. I mean, if with you this... you have friends that actually, you know, try to fight a certain way, you don't have a whole bunch of people sweating super, super hard. Just having fun. Well, I know we could have fun playing this shit. Like, I'd definitely probably do, like, a multi-stream, because keep in mind, I haven't played this game at all, so I'd have to, like, level up my character. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure we do, like, a multi-stream where we basically all start from square one and shit, then, like, try to boss up on people and, like, the side quests, things like that. That'd be fun. No, I do. Yeah, so I'm about to actually install this update, because right now my shit's downloading. Um, really wanted to... Are you playing on... Is it on crossplay or not? Nah, sadly not. Because if it was, I'd... We, yeah. They carry me... I wish all y'all had Xboxes with the game just out of nowhere. Because I would definitely throw y'all in the frying pan. <laughs> There's a raid, right? You gotta go against Deborah, which in Xenoverse is fucking ridiculous. He's broken. I heard about it. Mm-hmm. It's Deborah, Janemba, uh, I think Janemba Super Boo. AIDS. I know it's Deborah and Janemba. I think Super Boo. And. <laughs> Mush. Mush. Literally, it has like these, like three or four most broken characters. You have to fight them back to back to back within a certain amount, and it doesn't give you a lot of time to do it either. Yeah, that definitely be stream worthy. And oh, well, you would get mad because the boy he spams that spit, and if you you know you seen Dragon yep. Ball, <laughs> yeah, that nigga spam that freeze. 
Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. That'd be the epitome making a character like on Soul Calibur or some shit, naming him Deborah and fucking him up on principles. But yeah, so I'm actually I want to bring this up only because it's shocking because I just looked it up right now. This game came out in 2016. This game's been out for four years, and they're still adding DLC. It is its 11th update, apparently. Or 11th, like, uh, uh, add-on. DLC. Yeah, yeah DLC. Yeah. Appreciate you, Dennis. And don't forget, they also have the Xenoverse um, Lite version. It's on, yeah, it's on Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's on PlayStation 2. So, like, this is one of those games where I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't think it was gonna last this long. I didn't. I didn't think it was going to last this long, but also it's the Dragon Ball community, and I'm sorry, as much as I like other animes, I'm, I'm a fiend for some Dragon Ball, I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's because it hits that nostalgia button for like all of us, so that's why. Yeah, it's like, it's that literally... Universe 1 did really well too. Mm-hmm. I tried oh, streaming yeah. that, I got so frustrated, <laughs> that game was pissing me off. <laughs> Both of them are, so... Both of them are a breath of fresh air, if we're going to be completely honest, when it comes to any anime. Because, you know, with most anime games, it's just yes. a retelling of the anime. Even though this you one kind of is. like too. one of the first games where it was like, we're going to do a retelling, but in our way. We're going to switch it up a little bit. They did it just enough, in my opinion. Like, yeah, just like it enough. Was still the ba- it was still like the base story. Yeah. But they added some little twists into it. Yeah. The twist of times. Yeah. Have to fix it to be back to the base. Side note, you side note, know. before we continue on with this conversation, we can talk about Dragon Ball fucking day, sadly. Mm-hmm. Um, the funniest thing to me was when you're playing the game, or because I watched Chase's walkthrough or whatever, but that part where uh, old boy tried to, like, uh, convert, like, uh, changing Beerus or whatever, like, making him evil, mm-hmm. and Beerus like, nigga, I'm a god. I knew you was doing this. <laughs> I'm mad. Funniest part to me, because I think Beerus looked at him like, I'm going to destroy you. No. Like, I'm sorry, if you piss off the God of Destruction, dog, it's raps. Oh, also, just for... I'm about to play this shit right now, actually. Chest. That's why I can get this off my chest. Anybody that uses Ultra Instinct Goku online and tries to say that they're good is a whole bitch. Not half, not a quarter, a whole. Say your piece, dog. Say your piece. So... You know how in the anime you've seen Super. Yeah. Ultra Instinct. That nigga it's broken. Everything. Yeah, he's broken. Yeah, he does that in the game too. If you don't move, it don't matter if it's a key blast. Unless they grab you, you dodge everything. What type? don't move. What? 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 Yeah. And he has like probably the fastest attacks in the game. So, I'm about to go ahead and play this game and unlock all the characters. Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> all those Dragon Ball Super characters are DLC. You'd have to buy them, I think. Unless you have this. Did they have a season pass for that? Hey, hey. I'll find out, because we got jobs. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm, I'm so surprised, like, that this game lasted this fucking long. Like, I ain't got a problem with it, honestly. I mean, because of this, it makes me actually want to play it now. As you can see, I'm downloading the update. So, like, it definitely... What? Let me let me check my sources see if I can find some. Um, where are we trying to play this at? I'm playing it on PC. I want all frames. All right, let me see if I can find. I was about to say four of us here got PCs, and you can only go in with I think four. Yeah, I'm about to see if I can find the PC code. All right, I'll be back. But uh, <laughs> what was I about to say? Oh, I'm pretty sure the reason that it lasted this long is because fighters didn't scratch the itch that everybody had. Per se, it it was a good game. It's a damn good it game. Was, <laughs> it's a damn good it game. It was a good game, but it's more. If you were to compare Xenoverse to Fighters, Fighters is definitely the sweaty, the sweaty game. Woo! I got beasted a few times. Yeah, playing Fighters, you realize, yeah, this is the sweatier game. So for a lot of the community, it's like I'm not trying to sit here and sweat. I'm here to have fun playing Dragon Ball, doing Dragon Ball shit. Uh, so, I'd say it's kind of like in the middle a little bit. Like I definitely see what you're saying. Like like your point yeah. definitely makes sense. It's kind of like Dragon Ball Fighters is like as like it's in the fucking title. It's a fighting yeah. game. Like there's not too yeah. much to it except for you about to just throw these hands one up. Whereas Xenoverse kind of lets you 
it gives you a little bit more freedom to it. Yeah. And then after that, we had Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which is cool, but it's just the same story all over again. <laughs> like, it's a cool game, but there's no multiplayer. There's It scratches the right, itch right, of hold nostalgia. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You ain't play that game? Don't do that. Don't do I'm that. not. I don't plan on it. No, that no. game is not. The game may be the same story, but that game feels a lot different from every other Dragon Ball Z game. That it's, game is an open, an open world because it's not just that main story. It doesn't just have you locked into that main story. There's all the side quests. There's a bunch of side quests that are linked to the story. That like only if you watch the anime that you would have actually seen. There's stuff like that that branches off from that. It's not just like all the others. I won't, I won't, I won't disrespect it like that because I played it and I played it fully and I dang near almost platinum it. The only reason I haven't is because Lero Beerus is a level fifty and I'm only seventy six and he aids. Uh, God of Destruction, absolutely. So as I was saying, unlike. Xenoverse is pretty much a retelling of the story. So it doesn't scratch that same itch. It scratches the nostalgia, but nostalgia only lasts for like a couple weeks. I will say, Fighters did have probably a really good story, though. It had, like, yeah. Because it, it gave us a new was, it gave us a new villain, too, uh, with the yeah. uh, Android 21. 21? Yeah. Fighters had like the, when it comes to a story, theirs was the most different, which is for Dragon Ball for a Dragon Ball game is very good. The only issue with that was, like I said, the game is more, I guess you would call it technical for fighting style. Oh, absolutely, you definitely throwing them hands. I mean, yeah, it, fighters. It's not. It's not like Xenoverse, where Xenoverse is very fluid. I will say that compared to both, because I played both. Uh, Xenoverse is a lot more fluid than Fighters. Fighters. Also, I kind of have bias because Fighters, every time I load it up, I get to fight one match and my game crashes. So, so you definitely have a bias on that because Fighters move, like, Fighters is definitely great. I mean, watching that shit at Evo, con- con- you know, keep in mind, I'm never going to play that shit competitively, never in life, because I don't like help. I call fighter, like fighting games like that helpless fighters where one fuck up, I'm dead type shit. Uh, not a fan. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I, it's a, it's a, on that list of games like where I'll play it, but I prefer watching it. Kind of like Killer Instinct. Actually, just exactly like Killer Instinct. Like I would, I love watching Killer Instinct. I just, I just can't play it. It's just not my cup of tea for me. Uh, Marvel's Capcom is another one. I, lo- I love watching it. Can't play it. I told y'all the story about when I went to Vegas and this bald head bastard wanted to decide to fucking ruin my winter against the computer because he has a point to prove. I ain't never wanted to fire on somebody so bad in my life. And for those of y'all who don't know the story. Yeah, for those of y'all who don't know the story, when I was in Vegas, when I just, I think, promoted to being a freshman or whatever, uh, the hotel I was staying at, or the casino I was staying at, basically, they have, like, arcade, and they had all the fixings and whatnot, right? So I'm in this arcade, and I just got done playing Time Crisis, a basketball game and this damn racing game where I had a card... Where if I put it in, it had all my saved data. Shit was lit. Um, but I wanted to play a fighting game. And, of course, my favorite game, Tekken, the machine was down. Because, you know, God liked to play with me sometimes. So that was down. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll go play Marvel's Capcom. It has Dante, Spider-Man, and the Hulk. Those are my three go-tos, right? Playing the game. I don't really know what I'm doing. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just moving the analog stick, whooping the CPU's ass. Having fun. La, 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 la. All of a sudden, this bald head, at least 40 some odd year old man, decides to come over and just look at me. And I'm like, don't do it. Because he just looked like, this, like he'd just be waiting just to play against somebody just to just to win, right? So I'm looking at him like, don't do it. He sits next to me. But bro sits next to me, puts the damn coins in or whatever, new fighter approaching or whatever, or whatever the damn shit is from Marvel's Capcom. I'm in my <laughs> yeah. I'm in my head thinking I'm about to get off. I damn near just, I damn near thought about getting up and just walking away, but I was like, this game already got my money. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not getting up, dog. And I knew this was a sweat because everybody who plays fighting games on like you know the arcade things know that you put your coins on the screen, like on the bottom of the screen, so you can basically like restart, run it back, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. This nigga ain't hesitate. Already had like six of them damn coins, nigga, just lined up. I'm like, I'm, 
I'm going to beat you at least once. I was like, I'm not going to sit here for this, right? So he picks his lineup. I think he had like Virgil, like Dr. Doom, and I think like Iron Man or like Wolverine or some shit like that. In my head, I'm thinking, wait, this nigga got lasers and some more bullshit. I'm, I'm getting off. I swear to God, I'm getting off. Needless to say, we run one round, dog. I get one hit and he beats my monkey ass. I literally sit there and I'm like, you 40 years old. I'm about to be a freshman. I'm like 13. I should fire on you. I should beat your ass. I was like, dog, you got a pop belly, you bald head, and I know you shorter than me, too. I should. I should. I, I, I'm about to call my daddy. I'm about to call my daddy to stomp on you, dog. No, nah, you ain't about to disrespect me like this, right? Play the next game, right? I get at least four hits on him. I'm like, oh, yeah, I think I'm working. Nope. Sweeps me, dog. I was like, all right, I'm getting off. I legit fucking slam my hands on the damn uh, arcade thing like this. Get up and walk the fuck out the arcade. I was like, nope. And he looks at me like I had a problem. I'm like, no. You're the problem. I was minding my business. Kiss my ass. See, a little kid having fun and said, "Did I just catch you having fun?" He he definitely hit me with Uncle Ruckus stuff. But yeah, so after that, I I don't like those type of games. But granted, I do love watching them. Like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, like those type of games. I they definitely are some of my personal like favorite games to watch. Aside from Tekken, obviously. Like games that like I could play and like I'm I'd say I'm moderately decent at like Tekken and you know uh uh Smash Bros. Like when I get back in a dojo with my people. Yeah. I like watching those thoroughly. But games that like I'm not good at, I like watching those a little bit more because to me it's more technical. Except for Street Fighter. I'm just not into Street Fighter at all. But that's besides the point. Um but what was I talking about? Oh yeah. So Dragon Ball's adding more content. I'm downloading it right now and I'm probably about to start playing it on stream right now along with these damn trailers so <clears throat> this wasn't on the notes or anything what up uh check discord not discord uh twitter group chat oh yeah i checked it i checked it we in now uh yeah we in now <laughs> you got 15? i got what you got 15 15 15 of them babies man you got 15, 15 buckle roof, yeah. man. oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this, brother. I'm about to go ahead and send this shit to you. Let's get it. All right. But um, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I just want to touch on this real quick because uh, I have announced it on uh, almost it on Warframe already. It's about Warframe. I announced it on Twitter already that Warframe streams are definitely coming back. Late night Warframe streams where we just be, you know, chilling, talking, and bullshitting, and we all hear some wild ass stories. I'm actually about to bring back. I'm about to basically re-upload one of my previous Twitch streams where Biggie was talking about some taking a trip to get some booty. Um, she was great. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we, we was wildin' that night. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> he said, if I had to spend forty dollars to go to your house, I don't get some ass. You said how pissed I'ma be. Don't fucking call me. <laughs> hey, don't ask I know me we that broke all the way to Canada to get some buns. Ain't getting on. But uh yes. So that those streams are definitely coming back, and that's because the heart of demos was basically was an update that we talked about on a previous podcast where you could essentially sacrifice old warframes that you don't want to use to then combine them to like your current warframe or something like that. This thing is looking crazy, dog, and I can't wait to play it. Yeah. Essentially, you telling me I can get rid of the niggas and get something for them? Yeah, like if I'm not like I gotta, I'm gonna have to, you know, you, I'm about to get on my Warframe shit. Um, essentially, YouTube videos a day. Yeah, prepare. Um, so essentially, like you would be able to like sacrifice a Warframe and then like your abilities, like I guess, will combine in some way, shape, or form. So like, by my understanding, is at least surface level is. I could possibly sacrifice Ember and then combine Ember with Frost, and I might have me a Hood to Todoroki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with all that. I I'm with all that. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. That sounds fire. <laughs> what I'm hearing is I might be able to combine Wisp I might have and to get somebody back. else. Hey. 
<laughs> My dude on PS4 was tripped out though. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. They don't have cross what? save. They don't. They do not have cross save. Oh, it's that bitch ass nigga. Oh wait, no, is that his sister? That's somebody else. She got that, yeah, that's somebody else. That's somebody else. I'm about to say, that I'm like you nigga. The uh the warfare community, I think they were calling her um uh, what they call her. Oh, fuck, what was it? What was it? What's Nidus' thing again? What like name? they call him like par like they call him like parasite mom or some shit like that. Oh, the uh infested? Yeah, infested mom. That's what they were calling her. I thought that was the nigga from the farm. Oh, nah, nah. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about too. Nah, it ain't him. It's a, it's a oh, woman. That can't be the same nigga because uh, he ain't have titties. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they're adding. But essentially, Digital Extremes just continuously adding content to this already amazing game, in my opinion. It's definitely one of my top five, top ten all-time games ever. Because I put this game down for, like, months, and then I pick it up, and then I can't stop playing it for longer. Like, I'll put it down for two months. Oops, you updates will come. Uh, I'll put it down for two months. Next thing you know, I'm playing it for, like, six months straight. Like, crack. Like at one point back when I was living at my old like at my homeboy house, I was playing this game to like two to three in the morning. But I couldn't put it down, so I love Warframe. Near and dear to my heart. I actually gotta go check on my all my pets in that fucking game too. That'd be alright. I know they I know they're gonna be alright, but you know, I gotta make sure Alucard is straight though. Like that's that's my man's right there. All yeah. I know is I'm a demon on that Warframe, you know what I'm saying? Even though I ain't been on it a minute, as soon as I jump back on, I'm gonna get right back to being a demon. That's how I do. Hey man, it cut out. It cut out, yo. Yeah. It did cut out. The soundbite, the soundbite, no type of demonic vibe no more. It cut out again. Do you want me to just say? Hey, go ahead, Biggie. Shut your mouth. My man's really in here lying, but oh, I ain't heard my man Dennison voice in a while though. Dennison, just to retract so, a little bit on on Xenoverse, my G. What's your experience with the game? Uh, I only really got to play Xenoverse one, but Xenoverse two, when it when I when I saw the trailers, the draws was like, hey, that looked kind of fire, especially a continuation of this shit. I said, that looked kind of fire. Now, due to the DLC, looks like another. I, I don't want to call it running in the mill, but it does look running in the mill. New characters, new mission, new uh, new abilities, new side quests for the people. So I'm glad it's still being supported today. Universe two at least. Oh, don't think I'm losing you out of this too. I'm looking for a code for you too, sir. Damn, that I'm about to find this man a damn budget build, pre-built piece. I'm, I'm about, about to say, get this guy ain't got no PC. What you looking for a code uh, for him for? <laughs> hold up, what what damn, computer, what damn computer case I got? Yo, they sell game PCs at Walmart now. Nope. Nope. Nah, the one I saw it was five hundred. It had on AMD thirty five, three thousand five hundred in there. I really can't remember what damn case I got. Yo, that's crazy. They had a PC community for both Xenoverse games. I I, I do like some of the modding they they do. Oh yeah, they made the tournament of power in that bitch. All the yo. Oh. Oh, we about to get ignorant. I hope you know. We about to definitely get ignorant. Speaking of which, while we are going to be playing, just let it be known for everybody in the chat before I actually walk away and sound like the Seth Curry range again. Uh, I will be definitely turning on my Xbox to play Universe 2 right now. Yeah, I'm about to play on my my uh, PC right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, uh, play? Dragon Ball is being played. Yeah, oh, yeah, Dragon Ball definitely to get played. Uh, what y'all playing? I'm about to play Universe right now. Oh, it's already like, done? Oh yeah, I just had to update it. That's all I had to do right now. I'm about to actually check on the damn on the DLC. I'm about to buy it right now. Oh. All right, so I got an NZXT case, and I know they make good PCs. As a matter of fact, and me, because I'm gonna have to look up some Denison that we can get a goddamn PC. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, let's continue on. Now, uh, out of what the four six of us here right now because i can't think matter of fact uh, out of the five of us here uh two of us only got to play the damn avengers beta i, I got distracted by almost literally everything else 
Um, so I'm going to let them take the floor on this one. Uh, Rambo, Kenny, let the people know what y'all think about this Avengers beta. Or, yeah, the Avengers beta. Uh, if you're trying to play this game on console, don't do it. Don't do it. If you got, if you can get this game on, if you got a PC and you play it on PC, get it on PC, brother. Cannot lie. Game on PC runs 10 times better. That game on console is... <sighs> Unless they put out a stability patch, that, that, that game, man, I cannot lie. It runs terrible on console, bro. It's not... It's not built for them, these current gen consoles. That game is built for next gen. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, Pretty much, he said them consoles ain't built for your three hundred dollar PC, man. That's crazy. Um, but uh, the game plays the game plays pretty good. You know what I'm saying? All the combat feels different. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't doesn't feel repetitive or anything like that. Uh. The mission structure is me, but granted, I know they're not probably hitting us with all the good missions and stuff like that, but uh, Dennis, and it looks like I just found you the <sighs> super bundle on PlayStation for Xenoverse 1 and 2. Um, the game is cool. The game is cool. It's going to be one of them games where I'm not playing it unless I'm playing it with the homies, to be honest with y'all. Um. But uh, it's it's, it's 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 a decent game. I can't wait till they drop Black Panther because y'all know how I'm saying, you know how we do. You know what I'm saying? On the fell. He won back. That shit went too hard in that damn movie theater. That shit went too hard in that movie theater. Facts, nigga. But uh, yeah, man, it's just a dope game. It's a dope game. Um, like I said, I'm not playing unless I'm playing it with the homies. Man. It's, it's just how it's gonna be, man. All right, all right. But, you know what I'm saying? Event, it look all right, man, to me. I think they need more spacing in the game. The maps need to, look, need to be a little bit bigger because Hulk take up almost the whole map on some of the maps. Okay. And they need, to make, they need to make a harder enemy type. Hulk shouldn't be getting killed by a random police officer. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, okay. Hulk okay. be getting killed by police officers. You know what I'm saying? I need, like, at least after, I, I guess they just the beta, but they could have had some harder enemies down the line. But, hey, man, if they keep letting you get killed by cops, they got Iron Man out here getting killed by a ride shield when he can fly. Yeah, you just got to boost up the enemies, man, and make the jump bigger, man. That's it. I ain't going to lie. I got, fix I got the frame rate on my, PS4. I got ready to throw my entire computer right now. You just said that. That shit is Every time I bring that game up, y'all tell him something new about the Hulk that he didn't want to hear. You see, I ain't mentioned it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I already hate this game. I already hate it. I already hate it. It ain't even out yet. I already hate it. Big, Biggie saw me stream this game. They hold a Hulk, man. They hold that man. The man well, should be one hit, nigga, dog. He should, but they don't. And, like, I get it because I get it because early on, you haven't leveled up the Hulk. The game has a very, you level up. It has a skill tree, but it also has like a destiny level, a destiny type uh, armor, like armor your, for your hands, mm. weapons, stuff like that. It's that kind of thing where you got to find gear to level up your character. So I get it. So maybe once I level up the Hulk to where he's supposed to be, he'll be one hitting people like me, like he's supposed to be. But when he starts off, he's not. And I, I get it. it. Oh, yeah, I fact. I got I beef with him there, cause Hulk, Hulk at a level one, I shouldn't be one smacking niggas. I get it, cool, but damn, nigga, the police, yeah, they should be getting one shot. We get seven. Fuck. Hey man, I, it didn't happen to me, but I saw people having trouble getting into game with their homies. They gotta fix that. Ooh, it was like kicking I people out. I don't mean to cut you out, by the way, Kenny, but apparently I do have I have the Future Trunks DLC, the Super Pack One, Super Pack Two, Super Pack Three, Super Pack Four, and the Super Pass. So, uh, continue, though, Kenny. What are you talking about, folks? I was just talking about how the uh, trying to join somebody online is glitchy, and for people who ain't know, man, you gotta you gotta um, beat a certain part of the story mode to even unlock the multiplayer. 
So for like the first 30 minutes, you're playing single player. Oh, man. Yeah, you got to get here before you can play multiplayer. Bitch, let me play with my friend. X. Hey, yo. I'm going to be honest right now, man. This game ain't worth 60, yo. It's probably not. This game is this a $40 game. Maybe even 30. Maybe even 30. I can wait. And Spider-Man not coming to 2021. Damn, sounds like I'm not getting that game till 2021. Hey, you got to wait on Spidey. Man, I have one of the most iconic superheroes on your lineup in the game well, for a whole nother year. Because okay, so people are so goofy and they don't remember this. Remember, Spider Man was still they were still in contact on contract disagreement with Spider Man. That just a lot of dumb people think that's just with the movies. No, stupid. That's with the merchandising. That's with video games. That's with everything. They were in. They were in merchandising. They were in disagreements with that. They were at a complete standoff with it. They were getting ready to take Spider Man completely out of the MCU. So when this game was in development, they couldn't develop Spider Man in the game because they did not have the rights for it. So because of that, they could not put him in the game until then. That's the reason why. I ain't gonna lie. I still also just need things from hindsight. I, st- I still got beef. The fact that they hold my whole. Alright. And letting that shit go. I, I refuse. Well, it'll be okay, I man. The verse. It's not gonna be okay. I'm tired of my mans getting hoed at every waking moment. It was like every one of my favorite characters gets hoed, man. Oh, every like. <laughs> it's true. He does get hoed a lot. I cannot lie. I'm so sick of this, man. Like, no, matter of fact, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get this off my chest. You know what I'm saying? Cause, you know what I'm saying? This shit weighing on me. <clears throat> Marvel. You know what I'm saying? You know I rock with you. R.I.P. to the ghost, Dan Lee. Dig. Stop hoeing the fucking Hulk. I don't know if y'all read too many of the comics. I don't know if y'all watch too many videos. But I'm a goddamn nerd at the end of the day. Especially when it comes to my favorite goddamn characters. And one of my all-time favorites is the Hulk. You know why? Because he's calm at first. But then you piss him off. And he gonna turn the fuck up. I relate to that on a spiritual level. You feel me? Not only that. But my man has multiple forms, right? You got regular Hulk. Which is going to beat your ass, but eventually going to calm down. You got World Breaker Hulk, which is going to do just that. Break and shatter fucking worlds. All right. Then you got Grey Hulk. He's a more smarter, more cool, calm, belected Hulk. You dig what I'm saying? And then you got Red Hulk, which is Bull Bomb and belected. Word to YG. If y'all don't stop hoeing my mans and go into the Hulk's entire discography and stop making him such a bitch, I get it. He got his ass whipped by Thanos. I knew the fight was over when Thanos threw a body shot. We've been over this multiple times. Whenever a nigga throws a body shot in a fight, stop fighting him. Stop. He knows what he's doing. He's about to beat. You don't know what you do. If you know you don't know what you're doing, that nigga throw a body shot at you. Stop fighting. He gonna whoop your monkey ass and ain't nobody gonna help you because you're gonna have to hold that one you was talking shit i'm a watch i'm a watch i'm a damn sure watch i promise you i'm a watch <laughs> but i was there i am so tired of the whole getting hoed dog there's no reason why consistently he gets hoed he gets hoed in the movie he gets hoed in these games like dog even some of the comic books he gets hoed which okay i could understand some of it but goddamn Give my man his just due. Like, I don't know. Like, the Hulk and Vegeta, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, be getting, like, hold the most equally. And they be on, they be just, just, just on a whole different level. Like, Vegeta never gets his moment. Then when he does, it immediately gets shut down the next, not even episode, the next 30 seconds. Vegeta got a black eye, dog. You ain't never see a damn Dragon Ball Z character get a black eye until fucking, who was it? Gotenks did fighting Boo. Which he deserved, because he called that nigga fat. Definitely did. But still, you see, you see Gotenks get a black eye, and we thinking, all right, that's it. Fast forward, my man Vegeta defeats a, de- a basic a god of destruction. 
beats his ass, right? And then gets a black eye fighting Jiren. I didn't need to see that. Let my man ravel in his moment. Let him get a couple good shots on Jiren, know what I'm saying? And then they're like, all right, time to get the fuck about the paint because we already know who the poster boy is. I could live with that. <laughs> I could give you that. But no. Y'all consistently like to hold my mans and make him look bitch for no reason. Actually, I know why. Because y'all just hate good character development. We ain't finna talk about that. Just stop holding my mans a hole. Nah, nah. I'm not gonna give them all. I'm not gonna give them all the hate. The community, the Dragon Ball community, also don't like good character development. You've been over this how many times they tried to stop letting Goku be the main character, and they wasn't having it. Well, we also know that the damn creator of Dragon Ball does not like Vegeta either, too. I mean, yeah. So it's half and half, goddammit. So yes. <laughs> so yes. Both y'all. Get it together. Stop holding my man Vegeta. And stop holding the Hulk, dog. Like, I get it. Y'all don't want to make him too broken in the games. Like, all jokes aside, I get it. Y'all don't want to make him too broken. I, I understand that. But if that's the case, give him enemies that are scaled to his, like, stature then. Don't have him getting beat by Poli. Like, we have seen the Hulk get shot. Literally take bullets with no problems. However, you mean to tell me Billy Bob over here who been bullied all throughout high school and gets a pistol all of a sudden puts two shots in the Hulk and that's and that and that sits him down? Fuck out of here, dog. No, we ain't going for that. Stop holding the Hulk, dog. Free Hulk 2020. Alright, I feel better now. I just also want to say they act like in the Marvel movies they definitely didn't explain that Bruce tried to shoot himself in the mouth and kill himself. And the Hulk came out and spit out the bullets. Yes. Yes. He look. Niggas really forget that shit. He literally said, yeah, I tried to end it. He's like, what happened? The green guy came out. He said the other guy spit out the bullets. Like, stop that holding my hard, man. Yeah. That, that was definitely hard. was hard. That definitely was hard, though. And they said what happened. <laughs> the green guy spit him out. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, yeah. Like, come on, man. Stop hoeing my dog. Stop hoeing my dog. Uh, I I will say, I understand from a video game standpoint, it's very hard to balance the Hulk. It's very it is. difficult to do that. It is. If, if you read the comics, if you even seen the sh the movies, even damn near, doesn't, didn't he have a show? I think he did once upon a time, I think. I'm going to have to admit a fact. I think he did. If you've seen anything other than the comics, you don't even have to read the comics to figure out this nigga is definitely a broken character. He's not Superman level broken. He is definitely right under him, though. I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie to you. Hulk is right under Superman level broken. Uh, I, I only played Doomsday. Not Doomsday. Was it Doomsday? I played Doomsday over him. Yeah, Doomsday is over him. But they're, yeah, those but those, yeah. Are like, they're like right under Superman level broken. But with all that being said, you can't you, you can't have him out here getting beasted by little ass characters. Like At least Hulk. bring a tank out to fight this nigga. Like the Hulk literally said, the longer I fight, the stronger I get. Like the more mad he gets, the the, the stronger he gets. Like that's broken. <laughs> the whole point in his character is you don't want to piss him off. Like if you were sitting here fighting a conscious conscious Hulk. You're not going to win no matter how hard you try. Nope. So the whole point in putting him in a game is to try to find a different way to take him out. You can't have him getting taken out by regular bullets. We've seen what happens when he gets shot. Nothing. Literally bounces off of him. He looks at you and gets mad that you even thought that a bullet was going to kill him. It's like a gnat hit him. What the? <laughs> like, I know you didn't just think a bullet was going to kill me. Me. You see my muscles, Nick. But that yeah. th those are that's my only gripe with the whole. I can I understand. Like I said, I understand. It's very hard to balance certain characters. Like if they made a Superman game, it'd be very hard unless you had everybody in the game have Kryptonite, which would be ridiculous. But it'd be very hard to balance a game that has Superman in it. Fuck so. I'm talking about right, Superman, but same concept of I understand some of these characters in these comics and these universes, they bullshit. Oh, Superman's the most bullshit. I mean, Jesus. Oh, but, Superman is the most boring superhero there is. Batman beat that nigga up. Simple. 
That's because Batman is smarter than that nigga. And he's as strong as you want. Batman is the good one. As much Batman. as I don't like, I, I love Batman, but I don't like him at the same time because he is a fucking weirdo. He definitely if is. You see, if you see Batman out in public, you would think that nigga touches kids. Facts. <laughs> think he have niggas in his basement. That's crazy. Tell me if you did, if you seen a random white dude walking around in a bat suit, you don't think that nigga touches kids and has people in his basement? You can't. You can't. You can't tell me that you wouldn't think that. Rambo's like, well, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, no. Because I'm like, no, because I'm like, that's the nigga we worried about? Oh, no, I'm just saying that's how he looks. Not the niggas that's running around here with spandex on. I mean, we already talked about the main nigga that wears spandex. Also, if you remember, Batman's original character design, multiple other character designs, that nigga definitely had a spandex suit. It wasn't until recently when it comes to how long he's been a character that he's actually had you know a regular ass suit for a smart nigga who doesn't have superpowers that nigga for years definitely was running around in spandex <laughs> then he had a little boy named robin out there running out in spandex too <laughs> robin man we don't talk about Nah, man. That man but, wanted to be Batman so bad. <laughs> but back to my point of you, th- there's different. It's hard to balance a character like that, but at least just make it like something OD has to show up. Like if, like if they get to alert Hulk is here, them niggas start sending out like fighter jets and tanks. Yeah, like, or, like, like make it make sense. At least, the, at least something like a world, like a Hulk Buster armor for like a, Iron Man has something like that. Facts. I mean, we ain't gonna keep talking about that, because I ain't gonna lie, that entire series kind of pissed me off, like, just like as a movie as a whole, because they made it seem like the Hulk couldn't pick up Thor's hammer. The Hulk's definitely so damn strong, he literally picked up that hammer and started beating Thor with it. That's how strong he is. Like, he wasn't even worthy. He's like, nah, I lift. Like, <laughs> what? I must say the Hulk is strong as shit. I will say, in the movies, I'm just saying this from, you know, me trying to give them benefit of the doubt. This is definitely putting my cape on. That was the first time he picked up the hammer, at least in the movies. That nigga was not ready for all that weight. Even for the whole kid, he would have been like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you hefty. Uh, I'll tell you, in the comics, he literally picked it up and started whooping Thor's ass with it. He literally picked oh, it up and was all you. like, nah, see but me. I, but I, I believe you, but I don't think he picked it up first time. I, I haven't seen the comics, so it's still just me assuming. First time seeing it, picks it up, and just like, yeah, I can pick it up. Nah, he literally did. That's what happened. Nah, like I said, I ain't reading the comics. That's why I was like, I don't know fully, but I didn't think. But hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah, he definitely like was like, hey, I'm mad. <laughs> like, how'd he do on a, what was that, what was that show, Boondocks? I'm mad. Just like that. Whoa, whoa, ow, 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 ow. ow. Attention all proud warriors. Have you ever considered joining Time Patrol? As a Time Patrol. Dog, I say whatever. I am so sorry for anybody watching this shit, dog. Okay, whatever, I don't care. Yo, we're about to that link. Dog, but I'm fucking going deaf because they decided to turn up the music loud as shit for whatever reason, dog. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. That is the one thing about this game. Every time you load it up, boo, that's what it's gonna do. Oh, you got a better one? Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. It's me, Goku! Just hey, saw. it's me, Goku! Okay, I'll be honest with you, every time you load up the game. Right when you start loading up, when it gives you to press this to start, until you do that and it loads up your settings, yeah, nah, you gonna hear that. For everybody watching and everybody listening, I apologize for your ears. That shit caught me off guard. You telling me? Good God Almighty! But anyway, let's go ahead and jump back into it. like while we're on the superhero topic and we was talking about Batman. Anyways, this is a great transition. Um, 
the Gotham Knights trailer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This game look nice. It definitely did. Matter of fact, oh, yes, yeah, sir. I already got a feeling it's going to be two-player co-op. If they make that thing full, oh, man. It's probably only going to be two. Either way, we could break off into groups. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely want four-player co-op. That would be more fun that way. But... Now that other game, but I, I understand if it's two. I understand if it's two. It probably makes more sense as two. Now that other game we gonna talk about, that better be four. Which one? That that other that other DC game. Oh, the Suicide Squad. Yeah, the, the one comes out a year after that one. That better be four. Better not be no single player. Cause that one is made, by, yeah. That one's being made by Rockstar. The other one, who's what's who's the other one being made by? Uh, Rockstar is making WB Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. What about I say? Cause I know they weren't doing one of them, and I was pretty sure it was that one. Also, I'm very curious if it for the Arkham Knights. It looks like I, my answer. I already probably have the answer, but uh, if what's it called? If you get to create your own character, or you're stuck with those preset characters of the pretty much the sidekick. Hey, yo, bring Dennison back. Where'd he go? That nigga be muted for too long, and he gets put in whose man's? How I bring him back, please? But so, what did everybody think about the trailer? First off, ten out of ten. The uh, Gotham Knights trailer. Yeah. yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Looks beautiful. Like I really, I I enjoyed it. Ten out of ten. One more. Yeah, time, some though. graphics look beautiful, bro. Get to beat niggas up in 4K. Oh, also RIP that. Yes, that sir. Was Gordon. He said RIP. I'm pretty sure in that trailer he said Gordon was dead. Oh well. Yeah, I gotta hear his voice. He has always narrating the fucking game. Nah, man. RIP that nigga Gordon. He was a real nigga. I don't give a fuck. In that world full of all these bullshit ass <laughs> evil characters that I love, that nigga was still like nigga. I am the police chief. That nigga punched me and then tried to shoot me. Hey, man, he was doing it for his daughter, man. Definitely got the clap. He didn't do that to the Joker when the Joker shot her in the fucking back. He wasn't the there. Joker was going to give him a chance? Nigga. <laughs> the Joker caught her lacking and him lacking. Definitely caught her lacking. My man caught him by surprise. I hate this thing. He definitely did though. Bro pulled up. She tried to run and she that nigga said, "Bah!" He popped Man, her. And I ain't in his hand. Shoot her. He passed. That nigga he said, pizza on the table. He looked at her and said, "You ain't gotta be a Marvel superhero, but you can get Captain America." RP that nigga Gordon, man. We all knew Batman was gonna die at some point. RP that nigga Gordon, man. Yeah, I don't think that nigga dead. Man, Batman is not dead. Oh no, in that game, you have to remember that's a different, that's a whole different world. He did in that one. Oh, he did, dead. That that ain't the Ark. That's not the Arkham Knight yeah. game that you used yeah, to. Um, what you gonna call it? The Suicide Squad is taking place in the Batman world. Yeah, the, the one that you're Knight used to. Arkham Knights is a completely different world. Yeah, Batman, Batman gone, gone. Yeah, WB Montreal is the one that works on um on the Batman game. Well, RP that nigga Batman. Man. Well, weird though, but he was doing the job. Whatever, Joker gang in this bit. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah. 
definitely. So for whatever reason, I'm trying to plug in my damn Xbox One for that work and about to piss me off. But <clears throat> on to other subjects at hand. Let's go ahead and wrap the show on up. Cause I think we're about to borderline like damn near two hour mark. Um NBA 2K21. We've all had a chance like to play it briefly, more or less. Uh most of us at this point are just Honestly, just configuring different builds and seeing the possibilities that we can make with builds, things of that sort. Um, that's at least that's what I've kind of been doing. Um, my first impressions of it, literally not too much different. There's a few things, like the shot meter thing I actually like. The shot mechanics I do like. The few different builds I do like. As well as, it feels like I actually can move in this game. That was like one of the first things I noticed. I actually felt fast as a guard. So, the speed threshold has definitely been buffed. Yeah, I actually feel like fast when I'm taking off out of a triple threat or, you know, catching the ball off of a screen or something like that. But other than that, I really got too much to say. I mean, it's a demo and I ain't really expecting too much of a difference on a current gen game. Um, yeah. What y'all got? Uh, Rambo, you want to go before me or after? Because I know you got more to say as a center. I'm going to go last. All right. Uh, for me, I've been on record saying multiple times, even before they started bringing out news, this shit was going to be a repeat of 2K14 on 360 PS3 and Xbox One PS4. It's going to be pretty much the same game, but a little tiny changes, tiny, in the grand scheme of things, tiny changes, but it's going to be pretty much a copy and paste. Now, the only thing I do hope that isn't a copy and paste like everybody else in the community, if I load into the same neighborhood for the third fucking year in a row, I want my money back. Huh? That's all I'm going to say. What if instead of a square circle this time? Nigga, just, just, just make it look different, nigga. It, it, it's looking promising that it's not going to be the same neighborhood because they showed that 2K beach thing. So it's mm -hmm. looking promising that it's not the same shit. At least the same. At least it's not the same looking shit. At least change it a little bit, nigga. Just change the colorway at least. Make it look different. But, uh, as usual, when it comes to most of the stuff that you want to know about how the game's going to play, you cannot get it from this demo. The only time that you could actually tell how the game was fully going to play was the 2K16, not 16, 17 prelude. That was the only one, because they let you go all the way into your animations and shit. They let you change a whole bunch of stuff on your character. And ever since then, they never did it. Because 2K18 Prelude, I don't think you could change much. You could change a little, but not much. And then 19, 20, and now 21. All of them, pretty much, you couldn't really change anything. <clears throat> So you can't I can't give a full on opinion on it like everybody else. But I do I will say I don't necessarily like how the dribbling is now because I don't like it feels like NBA Live. And I didn't like NBA Live's dribbling system. But if I have to, I'll get used to it. Just like I did with NBA Live. Also I will say this does also make me realize that uh, 2K is like one of the only games that I actually play a lot that doesn't have different control figurations cause like it's weird like it's the there's a lot of things on 2K where it's like this is the only community that allows shit like this like if it's needed like uh, everybody who is saying that centers that are able to shoot threes should be able to shoot them because it takes skill to shoot with that low of a three point rating. I was telling Rambo earlier. As as a uh, analogy to that, nigga, if you saw a nigga sniping across the map on Warzone with an MP5, just because his aim is good does not mean it should be able to be happening. <laughs> yeah. Like if you was playing fucking Apex, matter of fact, even for Apex, uh, remember the Mastiff? Not Mastiff. The uh. Peacekeeper precision choke before it got nerfed. Yep. That shit was a sniper. Yes, you had to have good aim with it because, like a sniper, it's very precise. But it shouldn't be happening because it's a fucking shotgun. You're not supposed to be able to do that with a shotgun. 
Oh, it was definitely I'm bullshit. I got a precision truck. But I would like for future 2Ks or if they can add in this one for control configuration. So if you don't necessarily like the dribble controls, they don't have to completely change the next game. For the people that do like dribble controls and got used to it, you can just have two different sets of them. At least. Just something. But that's really all I got because there's nothing more I can really say. Oh, also, I think I found the best point guard build, but we ain't going to talk about that live. Alright. Kenny, thoughts? I'm just looking at, man. This is my expectation, man. I expected this, man. They did the same thing going into PS4, man. It was the same game, basically. Changed a little bit. But I'm not surprised. And I and, and they killed my builds, bro. Right. I really want to. I really want to cry right now. They killed the rebounding wing. I'm struggling. I don't even know what build I'm gonna make for 2K21, man. Right now, I'm a pure lock, man. The new, the new, the new shooting though. The new shooting. I'm at the practice. I cannot lie. I'm at the practice. Cause uh, y'all got it down pat. Nope. Nah. I'm, I'm pretty good with it. I don't got it at all, man. I'm still out here using triangle, man. Um, square. Also, I know they already. Mike Wayne definitely already said he was going to, but in that demo, that shot meter is way too small to even try to use square. I don't know what I'm looking. Bro, at. I can barely see it. Bro, I just see a little black spectacle <laughs> and I try to hit it, bro. Every time I shoot slightly early. Slightly late. I shoot with the analog slightly left. I've been heard. I've been dealing with slightly earlies and slightly lates for two years, and now I gotta deal with slightly lefts and slightly rights. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say for them to think that that shot meter was adequate enough for the community is ridiculous. They, they better like, give. They, was they like, the game like that, yo. <laughs> They better give me the options to change my meter just like last year, bro. Uh, <laughs> or take it off, man. Just let me take it off. But I don't think they have all those different meters. You might be able to put it by your feet. But, uh... <laughs> so they was gonna really release a game with that small-ass shot meter and thought niggas were gonna be like, yeah, this is perfect. They do know most of us play on monitors, right? <laughs> they do know that, right? Nigga, even, let's put it like this. Nigga, if, even if you don't play on a monitor, you play the game casual. You're sitting on the couch far away from your TV. How the fuck are you supposed to see that shot meter? That's a fact. How are you supposed they to see that? They made this game on a PC. They do know how small that is, right? That's Man. tiny, tiny. Man. Oh, oh, that's crazy. That's one of those things. It's like, yo, developers, come on now. Come on. Y'all knew better than this. That's y'all knew fact, better. Yo. But performance wise, you know, the game feel a little bit smooth on defense. You a little bit you move a little bit a little bit smoother and it's like this. But that's all that's the only thing that's changed. And the uh, shot clock on the flow. I do I did like that. Yeah, that's fire. That's the only two things that changed to me. Don't always have to keep looking over in the bottom right corner. Facts. Hey, niggas gonna still get shock fox violations though. So. Oh, of course. Yeah. People are garbage, but we ain't gonna talk about that. All right. On at people's necks again. I ain't even. I heard that right. All right. Niggas ain't. The niggas are trying to make me the bad guy out here. Crazy. Yeah, we heard that, but all right, we're going to keep pushing. Uh, Rambo. Actually, matter of fact, Dennison, what did you yes, think about sir. the demo? The GOAT. What I think about the demo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. First off, shot aiming. I, ha- I think I have the same Rambo. Please don't start complaining when niggas get good at it. Because... It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's most likely gonna happen, but just because I took the time to practice something 
and you feel like it's unfair and now you and now you're gonna complain to the developer to try to take away the boost kind of like 2k17 but it took away the ma- the boost it gave for shot aim in that year don't do that because then you're just gonna pander continue that's all I'm saying about that. Gameplay wise, you know, uh, through the games, I, through a uh, couple games I played uh, multiple while, but it feels smooth, pretty, pretty good, pretty smooth. Uh, a little fluid, new dribble controls. Now you're doing step backs to down on right stick. I guess that I guess for more controls, I guess. Uh, build wise. I think they nerfed my build, man. Mm-hmm. How you gonna nerf? How you gonna nerf a two-way sharpshooter? Come on, man. We ain't even do nothing. They nerfed. They nerfed all like, the two-way a, builds, man. It, it wasn't a big nerf. I think they just nerfed the shooting badges I can get. But come on, man. And I think they might have touched the shooting attributes with. It. I'm like, come on, man. The funny thing all is, I, got. I made shooting a slashing the playmaker who couldn't really slash. At least, at least badge wise. Yeah, they uh, selected the finishing badges. Like I only get like I think like two or three on my build now instead of like six or seven. But uh, they uh touched the build, man. They touched the build, man. Oh. And uh, Giannis, that nigga gonna be on my ass in my career. I can already tell. That nigga gonna be annoying the hell's face. I see it. I don't want to play him, man. Oh, big skill. Like, we we seem certain games. Like I man. not play against. Like if I was a small forward, I'm not going against the Knicks because KD and 2K is ridiculous. Fucking AIDS. <laughs> My guy. Hey, anytime the Bucks come up, it don't matter what position I am. Yo, I've been skipping the Bucks for two years, man. <laughs> no matter what position you are, you skip the Bucks. Absolutely, positively. They always, they always oh, gonna yeah. put Giannis on. You be the point guard. I played him. him this year. I played Giannis two K twenty. Nigga definitely put fifty four on my team. That day. I bet you ain't never play him again. I definitely. I ain't played my career. <laughs> what you mean, bro? Giannis dropped sixty and twenty four on me. What you mean? I definitely did not. Giannis got his. Giannis got the first contact dunk I seen in two K on my head. Forty five and twenty for me. I'm 60 like and 24. We're not playing that nigga, Giannis. We're not, 20, not, we're not playing. He had no 24 game. rebounds, man. He put 54 on my head, man. There was nothing I could do about it. Oh, he gave oh, my team no. 45 and 20. And I sat there and watched. I don't know what he's been doing. It don't matter, man. Is this Yo, 2K. 2K, stop, bro. Don't pause the game at the end of halftime, bro. Don't don't make me watch the end of halftime, bro. Don't let me watch oh, halftime. Don't have me sit there and have to wait for timeouts. Don't have me sit there for 10 seconds. Oh, that's a yeah, fact. Yeah, they definitely make you sit time, there for like man. a good five seconds. That's all that is. Quit trying to pad your gameplay time, man. We're going to play the game. Just let us play. You ain't got to force us to sit there longer. So that makes me not want to play my career even more than I don't want to. Biggest of facts. So, talk your shit. I'm making a sand. Also, right. uh, we I'm don't glad. play the Bucks. We we play. We don't play the Bucks because no matter what position you are, you be point guard. Drop thirty. All right, Giannis, go check him. I got you, coach. Nigga, why is he guarding me? And see the point guard. All Same with the Clippers. Nigga, you drop. You drop fifteen. Not even thirty. You got 15. Hey, Kawhi, go check him. I got it, coach. Huh? Man, suck beef, dog. I had Kawhi guard me, dog. I ain't gonna hold you. I almost broke my shit. Hey, and then, all right, Kawhi, you on the bench. Patrick Beverly, go get him. Nigga, fuck all y'all. <laughs> I give Patrick Beverly fuck it. It's still fuck him, though, because he played just like you do in real life. Nigga he definitely did. For no reason. Yeah, that nigga fuck this dude definitely was fucking checking me at half court. Dog, like, relax. It ain't that serious. I'm not going to shoot from here. Nigga, I got a 75 three-point rating. The fuck am I going to do from half court? That nigga is annoying as hell. Who is? 
Andre Roberson. That nigga can't shoot to save his life. Nah, you know, you know who was AIDS? Hey, yo, who was my, uh, J was it Jameer Nelson? It was on one of the two Ks. I think it was like Jameer Nelson or somebody. They get, He was like Jordan. It was probably Jameer Nelson. I think it was Jameer Nelson. It was like one of the two, like one of the older two Ks where I, I'm pretty sure it was Jameer Nelson. But they made him into a god. Well, you know who they do that to now? All right, Jameer Nelson. Kyle Lowry, man. Kyle Lowry, Steph Curry, and Russell Westbrook rolled in one player. Oh, definitely. Definitely okay. facts. The only thing he doesn't do is dunk. That's the only thing he just doesn't do. Facts. And that's because wow. he literally don't have the rating for it. Nah, Luke could be really averaging a 40, 40, 15, and 15 on me in my career. The only time I've gone against Luka that I can remember. Actually, no, I don't I don't ever remember going against the Mavericks, really. I just remember my two-way slasher on Xbox is on his team. All that nigga do is brick. Pisses me off. Nigga, do, nigga don't pass the ball, do step backs and brick. Dennis Schroeder is AIDS. Him too. Got Allen Iverson crossovers with a Steph Curry jumper. And Everybody he, that's he, supposed he, to be he, nice on 2K usually is some ass when you go against them. Besides, like, Steph. Yeah, not, nah, Steph, Steph is white. Like, besides KD and, like, Giannis. I'll personally say playing against, um. Playing against Steph is light. But. Playing against like or playing with actually like on the Mavs and have like Luca and like uh, uh Porzingis. I'm like, oh yeah, big dubs. Not at all. Porzingis is cool for me. He was hitting his shots. Luca like I said, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna pass the ball, but I'm gonna do step backs and I'm gonna break. And then make you run on the fast break to hopefully get a chase down block. Oh my lord. Ah, right. ooh, Porzingis, I hate you. Who the hell you. is Pingus? Because I'm telling you, bro, be missing everything for me. They be having me sound like Trey and shit. You're selling me! Uh, I hate playing on LeBron team. Him too. He be missing everything. Dog. He'll pass the ball at least. Because he got the tendency. He passed too goddamn damn. much. I mean, yeah, if we talk, yeah, if we, if we want to go down that road, but I can talk about real life, but we ain't going to get into that. Uh, but God damn, nigga, like, you can't hit a mid-range? You can't hit a three? Nothing. That nigga, you he'll go for a layup, make the layup more difficult than it had to be. Nigga, all you had to do was finger roll. Bro will definitely sit there. The yep, bro will definitely do all that extra for no reason. Like, ugh. Oh, all the niggas be doing extra shit. It's like going against LeBron still not that much of a threat. The most I got to worry about is that nigga dunking the ball. But like the only people that really refuse to play against are like Kawhi, KD, and Giannis. Yep, I agree. Cause them three a. Fuck playing them in 2K all together. As a oh. whole staff and record label. Oh, and Russell Westbrook in 2K, every time I go against him, it don't matter what 2K it is, what his shooting percentage was the year before, that nigga is just as bad as that. I mean, just as good. Did, did Biggie shit cut out, or was that just me? No, just... Nah, Biggie definitely cut out. His mic just told him, nah, fuck you, again. Uh, I def well he was about to talk about Russell Westbrook. I'll definitely Oh Lord. Biggie, stop talking. That nigga sound like when the T when the T V channel used to cut off at night. Facts. No, it's not. Whenever you talk, nigga, it's big static. I don't know what happened. Let me let me go ahead and get my point off while you fixing that up. Um So far, you know. As, as a big, I feel like the aiming aiming of the shots and the layups is gonna be real big for me. So it's gonna help, it's, it's gonna show you what bigs are really good. If they aiming they if they aiming layups, they they probably pretty good. If not, they gonna be fun back. But um, the shooting I like the shooting. Like I said, it's 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 gonna take some getting used to. 
but people really need to stop crying because every time 2K tries to enter something or a company, any at all, try to enter something that creates a skill gap and people complain and then they go back to putting it to what it used to be. They want to complain and say there's no skill gap or complain that it's the same game. But every time they want to try to implement something new, you little pussies want to cry and bitch and moan. So I like it. If you get good at it, you'll be the game will be pretty much easy for you. Um, next week is gonna be a big week. Uh, it's about what six six days for me. Um, until two K drops, uh, I will be live streaming it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all got it pre order. Oh yeah, it's already pre ordered. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do that. I gotta do that. Uh, you got cash up. Yeah. Do it on cat. Do it through Cash App. Go. Uh, you should have a PlayStation um thing on there, on your boost. Buy it that way. You can get it cheaper. Um. You got both. Like, it's gonna make sure you will give you both versions. I want them to finesse. You heard the finesse they doing for the for the disc version? Yep. Well, that's uh, a finesse. Oh, that's why I'm getting the digital. I, I, I'm getting it on digital. How so, much it was on that um the Cash App discount? Uh, mine was ninety eight. Big. But um, uh, if you want to get this game on current gen and next gen, I advise you to get it uh on current gen. Even if you're not planning on really playing it like that, get it on current gen. Get the Kobe edition. If you were gonna get the Kobe edition anyway, get the Kobe edition. It gives you a hundred thousand VC, and then when the current gen comes out, it gives you the base edition for current gen with another hundred thousand VC. That is the only way you're going to get the hundred thousand VC on both current gen and next gen. When you when it transfers over all your VC from current gen, if you end up playing it, just transfers over to you your game on next gen. Now you got two hundred thousand VC sitting in your lap. There it is. You got a whole player and some co- and some um, animations. Um, um, I really hope. I really hope that it's not. I really hope it's not just one neighborhood. In, uh, in this current gen, I would like to have some enjoyment with this current gen before we go over to next gen. Um. But yeah, man, I, I, it's not that much different, but it does feel way smoother, which makes me excited for the next gen. Because if it's that smooth on current gen, on next gen, it's probably gonna be really good. Um, they, they nerfed the hell out of everybody's build. It's hard. My build has been nerfed. You have to bring that up. That's crazy. They nerfed, they nerfed my build a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, you know how we get down. We play defense, so it don't matter. But uh, yeah, man, it's just, we'll see. Six days, man, we'll see what, what this. Hey, man, we talking about next gen, next gen, man. But them niggas ain't dropped the price yet, bro. When them niggas dropping the price, bro? I forgot to send you the shit. Y'all got something I don't know about? Yep, that was actually my next topic. Uh, so, apparently PlayStation is going to take a play out of the Sneakers app. In case y'all ain't know. So if you don't know what the Sneakers app is, it's this app where a bunch of people who want shoes just decide to get scammed and hustled and just, just hold out of getting some shoes because you basically entered in a raffle hoping to get a chance at getting a pair of shoes. Bullshit. Um... Essentially, PlayStation is about to do the same exact thing, but for their PS5. So instead of them, you know, just doing what they've been doing for literally ever, and dropping the PS5 across all, you know, all over the country, this, that, and third, so you know where we can essentially just play the game and have fun, they decide, screw that, we're going to basically enter in our people who play our console into a raffle, so that they could have, hopefully, a chance at getting a PS5. 
And then what makes it even more wild is apparently by some article I, I forgot to grab it, but apparently they're about to be even more wild with this, and they're going to check your stats because you basically have to enter in like your player, like your uh, PlayStation ID and things like that, and then they'll send you an email if you're selected. But they're only trying to give it to their most dedicated of fans, which is gonna be some overall bullshit. If we're being honest. And they're gonna check how much you play, your trophies, and all this other shit to basically decipher if you are worthy of getting a PlayStation 5. Yeah. Y'all got anything? Not feeling that at all. Give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. That sounds like that's that sounds crazy. Are you worthy? Yeah, uh, I think that is that's wild and overall complete and total bullshit. I'll be honest with you. the the fact the fact that we're literally you know what um we're actually around the corner from oh shit excuse me we're like literally around the corner from hitting like the new gen consoles and shit like that like they should be out at around this time right. And you mean Four to tell me, points, man. Yeah, it's like you mean to tell me that we still A don't have a price and B you mean to tell me we're doing a raffle now? Like, so y'all just can't release the game to everyone. You, you we must do raffles now. Like they must be low on systems, bro. They gotta be low. You're not even guaranteed. You're not even guaranteed a console if you get invited. I'm not yeah, going yeah. This console generation is about to be ass, so that's how we starting out. Hey, yo. They got to be low on consoles, bro. They got to. I definitely agree with what B is saying, though. Like, this, this console generation is about to already be on some bullshit. I mean, I'm already, I am already got a backlog games for my damn Steam library anyways. Be fun, no, bro. Now, yeah, unless you're one of our biggest supporters, we can't give you. Bitch, do you want my money or not? <laughs> Facts. Well. Wow. I don't understand as a as a company. This sounds like a great idea in your head, but from a consumer standpoint, this is retarded. You're telling me I have to enter in for a raffle to buy a new console that should be available at least to try to get to everybody. But no, I have to be one of your. But this is not a content create. This is not a single person running a business. This is a whole company. The fuck you mean I need to be your biggest supporter? Y'all are about making money. Tell me the price. And that's probably why they want to be their biggest supporter. Because when they drop that price, niggas that ain't their biggest supporter like, ooh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only, that is the only thing I can think of. You're a biggest supporter, so it doesn't matter what the price is as long as it's not like $1,000. And, and even then... This, it seems like it's knocking on the fucking front door. Them niggas about to come out and say, yeah, the console, $800. 800 yep. That's <laughs> real nice. I ain't gonna have that mother for a minute, then. <laughs> hey, ooh, that Game Pass look real nice over there. Yo, fat, and the thing, yeah. like, the thing I'm is, even those who could afford it, dog, it's like, no. If that, price, eight, if that price, 800 See, I'm a PC yeah. elitist. The issue, the issue is... Play, the reason why PlayStation can do this is because I'm pretty sure they know that Xbox is going to be way more expensive than their console. I don't think so. Xbox yeah. is, for, Xbox for the last couple the of years has been very about. much about the rumors that have come out got the Xbox priced $150 more than the PlayStation. Because it's stronger too. But, like They're both going to sell for a loss. They're obviously going to sell for a loss. Like They can't not sell for like their true worth. But because Xbox is stronger, it would make sense for them to be, like, to be, I honestly, now I think about it, now that Rambo just said that shit, they're probably going to go the full PC route, but, like, with just a console casing, right? Where we know PC up front costs a lot, right? Mm. But it pays off in the back end, you know, with Steam sales, random, like, different, like, subscription service, like, Origin, uh, uh, the Ubisoft one, yeah. Steam, like, key services and shit like that. So, like, up front, yeah, you're like, ooh, 800, 900, whatever you, you spend for, like, a decent build PC. Not a great, crazy build, but, you know, a, a decent one, right? Mm -hmm. But 
it pays off in that back end. So it makes sense, especially since Microsoft is kind of like with this whole PC uh, uh, Xbox parody thing, that they would do something similar to that just with their console. I could actually see them doing that, and actually, if that would happen, regardless if they don't have games, because they really fucking don't, it would probably be in their best interest because we we've already established they are the budget console. Like they might not That's, have they uh, might not have you know the uh, the the exclusive or anything, but they're the best bang for your buck because they have the most options for games overall with Game Pass, the EA thing. Uh, what well, I think that don't they have like another one too? Like don't they have like the Ubisoft one too? I don't think so. They might, and I might be tripping. But I don't think so. Oh well, e- well. Either way, they got like the EA access and like the Game Pass shit, which gives you instant access to literally everything. Yeah. So it's like when it comes to a console, because PlayStation has EA access, but PS Now we already know. Yes. Yeah. PS I, Now is pure terrible. It's but, pure thankful yeah. that I have emulators. <sighs> if your Wi-Fi's not good enough, it will shut your game off. <laughs> Trust me, I had it when I was in college in my dorm. They shut my shit off. <laughs> Turn it off. Hey, no, you realize how funny that is? A nigga bought you bought the service. You bought no, the service my look, so you could play the game. My little cousin finessed me, yo. I bought it because like I, I had just got all I had enough money for was my PlayStation. And I didn't really have enough. Don't lie. My look my little cousin finessed me, but he came in a clutch because the only thing I was playing at that time was DC Universe. Cuz really did say cut it off. <laughs> yeah, just imagine you pay for a service, right? <laughs> and them niggas tell you after you paid for the service, you gave them your money. Yeah, you can't use our service, bitch. <laughs> and I will say as what well, that is fucked up. But I will say as well as though, games with gold for like the longest time was dropping bangers in comparison to PlayStation Two. Uh, the hey, um... don't bang, uh games with gold. Games with gold is very uh, hit or miss. That's a fact. Because sometimes they be dropping some heat. Yeah. Like uh, when uh, when Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 both came out on uh, backwards compatibility. Oh, those was on games with gold. Yep, immediately. So everybody in the community, everybody in the Xbox community had that shit. Hey, games with gold put me on to The Witcher 2 and the Xbox 360 days. Oh, man, I'll never forget that. Yeah, games with gold definitely was out here. Uh, I'll, yeah. Right. But I, I just want to say, uh, for the price of the Xbox, the reason I'm saying I don't think it's going to be as high as people think it is, is because Xbox, as as they've shown in recent memory, uh, has been very much, cut, especially because they're trying to get people to buy their console. It's more of a business move, but very much they're trying to be more friendly to consumer pockets. You're full of shit. <laughs> the Xbox Connect had to go I, with as the of recent, console. not 2013, nigga. Nigga, I, said, I don't give a recent. damn. You came out and told us that the Xbox would not work unless you had the Connect. I'm not trusting shit, y'all. Do or say when you drop a console. So, if you're telling me that your console is going to be better, faster, and stronger than the PlayStations, I'm expecting your price point to be that high. I'm expecting their price point to be higher than PlayStation. I don't expect them to sell their console at a way lower price or close to PlayStation if their console is that much stronger than PlayStation. It's not So, since we're bringing up old shit, you tried to say I'm full of shit. So, Xbox 360 and PS3. Xbox 360 was definitely the better console definitely was cheaper than the ps3 and what did playstation do to counteract that they definitely realized they fucked up in the next generation they made their no, no, console no, no. Cheaper. What, did, what did playstation do during that generation to counteract that damn it i didn't have a playstation nigga. i just knew the price playstation didn't have online service they didn't have you didn't have to pay for online service and it definitely played like you ain't paid for it either. I was about to say, <laughs> shit that is like you didn't have to pay for it too. What Xbox does with their services now is what PlayStation did then. They charged more, but they didn't. Ha- you didn't have to pay for online. Xbox has a better service with their console, 
and they're overcharged and they charge higher for their console. They, they the positions just switched. Xbox is doing exactly what PlayStation did when they overcharged for that fucking PS3. They're doing the exact same thing. So I expect because and also you got to remember, Xbox is removing the fact that you can buy your service for a year. You can only do it for three months. So I am pretty damn sure they are not going to lower the console up price. I am pretty damn sure on that one. I'm still saying it's not going to be as high, and you just mentioned that uh, the membership is going from you able to buy an annual subscription to only three months. But they also took up the price of that, which could also help with the with, that, with them selling the console at the loss that they're probably going to sell it at. All I'm saying is, man, Phil Spencer be shooting themselves in the foot. Every, it seems like almost every goddamn month these motherfuckers come out with some other news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was also say this. Unlike PlayStation, Xbox, like we've said multiple times, don't got games. So, with PlayStation, knowing that they have more exclusives and definitely knowing how to get more exclusives, obviously Xbox has no fucking clue because all they know how to do is get indies, but that's besides the point. Uh, X- PlayStation, knowing that they can get good games on their console, for the next generation of console for PS4, they already knew people were going to... They know that people are going to buy that console. They knew people were going to buy they, up- they didn't really upgrade their online service, which is kind of funny. It's still, it's still pretty much ass, but we ain't gonna talk about that. They're both terrible. No, it's not. So it's not as bad as PlayStation Three, but it's not good either, bro. Any console console parties are terrible as a collective. Them shits ass. I am telling you that in my experience, I've definitely had a better experience altogether on Xbox, Xbox than PlayStation. <laughs> Yeah, but we not gonna act like Xbox is just like oh. It's oh no, Xbox ain't perfect. Xbox Damn has that. Its day for and, and the comparison, better. Xbox is definitely better than PlayStation. <laughs> definitely better, but console console parties in general as a collective are terrible. I mean, the parties in general are terrible. Nigga, Discord be fucking up all the time. Yeah, but I'd rather be on Discord. Shit. But even then, though, like, but that wasn't a party why... thing. It yeah. was terrible. The would be fucking up. All the voice chats be fucking up, man. Yeah, but I definitely prefer Xbox over PlayStation because Xbox is easier to access. It's faster for whatever reason because PlayStation's fucking interface takes ten goddamn years. SSD. Baby. PlayStation. It's weird because PlayStation's interface is definitely more user friendly, but the shit just moves slow as hell. <laughs> like, like I agree with TVS. He was talking when he did his little. Satire uh top ten games on the Xbox One. The Xbox One's interface is definitely compared to PlayStation's very much more complicated. But it doesn't move nearly as slow. There is hella windows, hella tabs all over the place. It's like opening up a PC and you got 13 windows open when you t- turn it on. But PlayStation's is like having an iPhone 5S still. It's very user friendly. This shit just don't work. Oh, yeah, that shit was definitely ass, so. But I still think the Xbox, this is just my final point, and I think the Xbox is definitely going to sell at a bigger loss than people think it's going to. Oh, it's definitely going to sell at a huge loss. I just think that this is retarded that we got, that we've had to wait this fucking long for a damn price, though. That's a fact, bro. It's been a weird, it's Xbox been a weird year, man. Did. Xbox know what they did announcing all that shit yeah, early, yeah. and PlayStation was just sitting there watching yeah, them fuck up. Was coming out. They was playing chicken. There's a reason oh, why we man. just recently found out the release dates for these bitches, at least for oh, one man. of them. We just recently found out the release date for one of them. They is playing chicken no, with each other. other. They trying to figure no. out who's gonna fuck up first, and Xbox it's... is always finding a way to be the first ones to do it. I'm pretty sure they're both releasing on the same day. They're both coming out in November. We kind of already, I've confirmed this damn near. Not even confirmed it, but like I'm pretty sure. Because. November. Yeah, because all consoles have come out in November. Oh, yeah. I, like, we know the month is coming out, but it's just hilarious that we still have to kind of guess, especially, well, for PlayStation, because Xbox already announced it. But for PlayStation, when the fuck is it coming out? November 15th. I just said that. It's we can. Uh, hmm? It's already got leaked. Definitely showed y'all that already. We got leaked. Man, everything ain't weird, weird man. Everything, everybody's showing everything late, bro. There's a they picture. Haven't... 
Windows, it says X. It says PlayStation Bundle with whatever game that I fucking that it was. I think it was Crash. It's November fifteenth. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember at least like that. I remember somebody said something like that. Both consoles on November fifteenth. I'm pretty sure both of them are dropping November fifteenth. Like if them both, if they both doing that. Xbox is gonna get the head the head start on this console on this generation, simply because PlayStation ain't gonna have enough console. Because no, PlayStation. PlayStation over here talking, about, yeah. Unless you're one of our biggest supporters, we can't give you our console day one, bitch. I, I will fight everyone at your company. Well, okay, so all these things can see me. The partial reason why I'm pretty sure they're doing that is because I know people are going to buy that game. Buy the console and then we fucking sell it. You can't stop people from doing that. You really can't. What they're trying to do is limit it so that people can actually. Because I read the frequently asked question. Yeah, the fact about it. The way that they're trying to do it is that it's limiting each one to each PSN ID. Yeah. So it's not just it's not just being able to pre-order it that way is they're trying to be able to get it to their fan base before the people try to start getting it and flipping it and then you got to pay pay for it at a higher fucking price they're trying to actually get it to their people before they let out all pre-orders and then people start buying them off the fucking market and then start flipping them hoes because that's exactly what happened with the ps4s and the xbox ones niggas started buying them hoes up and flipping them hoes yeah, Carter had to drive. Carter's wife had to drive to New Jersey. I'm pretty sure. I think it was, or somewhere up north. I think Maine actually to get him a, a, a PS4 on on launch. Because I will the say way- they can still suck I'm beef about that one though. Huh? Well, I say as much as I understand, I, I I don't like it still. I understand why they're doing it, but. I don't like how it's like a raffle type thing. It's not really a raffle. Hey, if I don't, if I don't get it, guess what? They racist. Heard here first. I almost um, said something was odd. Um, but it's essentially you're, you're getting a better chance at getting it because it's you have to do it through your PSN and it sends you a link through your PSN email and you can you can get it. Because they don't I, I, I get I honestly get why they're doing it. It, it makes sense. If I don't get it, I'm gonna hug my thousand dollar plus PC. I'm gonna throw it out of window. <laughs> why? Hey, 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 cause I ain't getting my favorite piece of plastic. <laughs> like, if you don't send that shit hilarious. to me with bullshit. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious to see the people that say I didn't get a PS five, so I'm gonna go get this. I'm gonna go buy this overpriced ass Xbox. It'd just be funny for me just to see people like try to buy it off flip. I'm not spending um, PC money <laughs> on a console, dog. I'm not doing it. Nah. I'll just wait. Point, you, buy, you buying the console, nigga, you ain't even got no games. Like, you done spent all the money that you was going to spend on the console games and microtransactions on the console. Another reason, people, if you're buying this to play 2K, <laughs> buy the current gen version. At least you'll have that on there. <laughs> you, ain't oh. you ain't gonna have no food in the house either. All I know is it's, it's literally gonna push people to buy Xboxes. Mm-hmm. And also as much as I as much as I agree that exclusives do sell consoles, a lot of the niggas that are gonna be buying the Xbox because they couldn't get the PlayStation wasn't going to be playing that many exclusives anyways. If we're being honest. Because, let's be honest, a nigga who really wants to play an exclusive, he'll wait. We still don't even know the PlayStation interface yet. If that shit is like an Xbox interface, dog, I might as well just stay on Xbox. I think it's actually, I think, from what, the last thing I actually seen of it, I think it's more like a PSP interface. Nigga, as long as the shit is user friendly and it works. And simple. That's what I mean. Like user friendly and bitch actually moves at a decent speed. 
it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Cause this console generation already looked like it's about to be ass. I mean, we knew that when, but I, I, you know, optimistic. But at the same time, I, I didn't think it was gonna be this ass. Like Ooh, the way God. this was starting out. Goddamn pessimist. Not... Huh? Goddamn pessimist. Do you mean optimistic? <laughs> nope, you a goddamn pessimist. How? First thing when everybody somebody brings some shit up. Man, I can see how this go wrong. Nigga, can we just invest, like, revel in the good moment at the moment? Please. Please. Nigga, I just said I did not expect it to be this bad. Nah, you said I'm an pe- optimist. Nah, sir. Man, can I whoop somebody's ass here? Damn. Also, the reason that I'm partially a pessimist at certain things, but especially when it comes to gaming companies, is because of precedent. <laughs> These niggas show that they can fuck some shit up. Like Ubisoft, as much as I love the way Watch Dogs Legion looked, they could still easily fuck up that game. But it looks good, and I really want it to stay looking good. So can we can we end the podcast before he pissing me off? Because now he putting bad juju on my game, man. Nigga, I want the game to be good, man. Then stop putting negativity into the air, you big Nigga, bad. stop letting the companies do this bullshit and then they try to put out a good game and expect us to think it's going to be good all the way through. Stop letting the companies, like I, like I got some type of pull. Who you think I am? Uh, You definitely got pulled, but we ain't going to talk about it. You ain't got that type of pull, but you got pulled. You did that lie. <laughs> Woo, in the podcast. We got to talk about, we got to talk about, uh, what you call it? Oh, uh, Wukong, Wukong. We didn't talk about Wukong. Oh, good point, dog. Game, fire. Oh my god. That trailer, that little game, that was what, 13 minutes of gameplay, straight heat. I'm not gonna lie, they pulled Apex on. It's not like the game dropped, is already out, but Apex of, hey nigga, there's a game coming out. For real? Dog, what, that when? game <laughs> looked amazing, and it's made by an indie Chinese game, uh, game company, which I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to the, to the GI, because this was the same thought process I had of what makes possible sense of... <sighs> Hold on. Y'all take over real quick. Like, like it's nice to see an indie game that isn't oh. fake deep and isn't a 2D scroller. I am very happy to see this. Because <laughs> every... Dog, I have an Xbox, trust me. I know about these indies. <laughs> they be dropping an indie every week. Like you look on there, it's like, yeah, we got a new indie game. You know, it's a 2D scroller, and it's about how depressing life can be, but, you know, it's new. Or, like, even the, the one one of the ones they showed at E3 was all about depression, dog. It was like, yo, I'm tired of being sad, man. Give me so, some fun shit. So there was an accident outside my damn house right now, apparently. All right. This nigga hurts. Well, I heard. I just ignored it. You know, mind my business, Hall of Fame. Um, oh, big facts. No, nah, but what pissed me off is the fact that, like, because we talked about this, we are tired of seeing, um, uh, what's that shit called? We're, yeah, we're tired of seeing, like, CGI trailers, things like that, of, like, these AAA companies, things like that. You mean to tell me AAA right. companies got, like, billion dollar, like, but not billion dollar, but multi million dollar budgets and things of that sort. You can't put out a damn gameplay trailer. But you mean to tell me this indie development company in China released a 13 minute actual gameplay trailer that looked incredible. And you mean to tell me y'all can't? Yeah, fuck out of here, dog. Well, I'll tell you why they can't. It's not that they can't. It's because they don't have to. You know how niggas is. They show you a beautiful ass trailer and niggas is ready to buy it. Oh, like that shit really got me tight though, cause dog, like that gameplay looked amazing. Like the, even like the hair physics, like on like that giant like little wolf creature, or whatever. Bam. That, that game that, looked fire, man. That looked awesome. that looked insane, and I'm like, you mean to tell me that y'all can't, you literal b- million to sometimes I don't, I don't even know if y'all in the billy, but the multi million dollar companies bit. can't. Can't make a simple ass gameplay trailer that's at least five ten minutes, but they release thirteen minutes of fire. Fuck out of here! Like I'm not going for it. Like there's like there's no excuse at this point. Literally none. There is no excuse. Like I said, it's a marketing thing. As an indie company, you can't show me a CGI ca- ca- that trailer. 
X- Xbox let indie companies do that all the time. Like their entire press conference, their last press conference, is nothing pretty much but indie. All of them pretty much CGI uh, trailers. Nigga, I have no clue what your game is about. Not an ounce. Stop showing, drop trying to show me pretty shit and show me the game. Whereas you see something like say when, especially didn't Siege their first trailer was pretty much like that CGI trailer. Their first trailer was just like yeah, like essentially like just a, a bullshit CGI trailer because the game yeah, looks but nothing it, like that. No, I was gonna say, but it's you, but it's Ubisoft, so they can get away with it because they know that the game is gonna sell because of the brand. Versus, Ooh. like I said, like, an indie company, they gotta prove themselves. Especially how, like I said, Xbox and their indies definitely ruins the uh, gives indies a bad name because there's some fire indie games out there. But Xbox be picking up all the fake deep garbage ones. There was one game I can't remember that like legit took you like on this entire like quest of like depression and shit like that. It was like <laughs> I was black... talking about it. They showed it at like E3 or something. That shit pissed me off. Like yo, I'm tired of being sad, man. It was like I forgot what it was called, but it was like some black and white like side scroller type joint dog. That shit was mm-hmm. wild. I remember Dashy played it. and I'm like yo, this game is this game something else. <laughs> No, like, I'm just tired of I'm tired of fake deep games, man. I, I play video games to have fun, not to think about real life. Good point. The closest I want to get to a game talking about real life is Assassin's Creed because they be going in on the history and it look lit. <laughs> I agree. I definitely agree. But... Yeah, that will come. Oh, did we? Did we fully talk about Suicide Squad, or we just bring it up as a side note on... Uh... Just brought it up as a side note. All right. The game Suicide is Squad great. We all gonna probably get it uh, in store. It better be four-player, because if it's not in a single-player, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna be mad. Because people were complaining that it was. I had people were complaining that it was multiplayer. I'm like, I remember you told me that. I'm like, I don't see the issue. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why niggas want to play a game alone all the time. Like, I like playing games by myself sometimes, but niggas, not every game needs to be single player. Oh, yeah. I'm not at right all. <laughs> like, for $15? like, as long as it's not no bullshit open world, and it's just, it can literally be a linear game. I would have so much fun playing that with the squad. Facts. Because I just don't like open worlds that are dead. Facts. Like, I'm going to be honest, as much as I like Batman, Arkham Knight, that open world dead. is dead as hell. <laughs> ain't shit going on in that open world because ain't nobody there. Why am I I'm able to play? You know the niggas is gone. <laughs> yeah, every, but even on, like, say, Arkham City, why do I get to, why is all this space here? Nigga, you could have made this game linear. As hell. Like, the closest to linear was Arkham Asylum. And that shit wasn't even linear. That was still open. True. For no reason. Just to find Riddler trophies, man. That is Fuck. literally the whole reason that the game is open world, man. It's for Riddler trophies. Shit is ridiculous. But I love the game, though. Absolutely. It's a great series, but <laughs> the open world's definitely be like kind of point, if I'm being honest. No point... All that shit there is just so you can find green question marks all over the map. Side note, for those of y'all who are watching the live version and the eventual video version of this, um, we just whooped a monkey ass. I ain't gonna lie, I'm using an OP team low key. I'm using my creative fighter who, you know, is also brand new, but I'm using uh, Brawly as a full power super stand and uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. Yeah. So you out here using, <laughs> this, you out here using who I was just talking about. Yup. That's good. That nigga is the epitome of getting called out for using park cards on 2K17, and you just gone. It's against okay. CPU. It's against CPU. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. We show no love against CPU. I'll give you that. Oh, CPU gonna get this cheese, damn it. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> but I'm buying this for you right now as we speak. I'm playing it right now, and I'm enjoying the fuck out of it, dog. Cause this probably, I, 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 I gotta go to bed. I don't wanna go to bed. I wanna play this all night. I want to be I got to go be. I got to go be. That's the podcast. All right, go. we see y'all this nigga got to go be. Yeah. <laughs>
I gotta go big, shit. I gotta go big. All right, but no, all bullshit aside, I appreciate everybody who came through to the podcast. It was about damn near two hours. I knew we were gonna hit this damn two hour threshold. Um, we will be bike with another podcast because Gamescom actually just recently uh, ended today, so we'll talk about that next week. I'm a, we're gonna go through all the trailers and whatnot and basically decipher which ones we want to keep and which ones we don't. Because some of these trailers, I ain't gonna lie, I'm good on talking about them. If Look, I they were horrible games, man. Yeah, like, yeah, like, then, uh, we ain't, nope, <laughs> nope, nope, oh. uh, but, can I, can I just say this one thing before we end? Oh, go ahead, bro. Uh, game conferences, gaming companies, I need y'all to understand. Yes, as a gaming community, we understand that the mobile market is blowing up. But I don't need to see that shit at a big name conference, nigga. Make it a tweet. They showed... What was it called? Uh, Age of they showed Age of Empire, dog. I don't care about Age of Empire, nigga. <laughs> like, I, I definitely man. got back into my mobile game shit though. Like no, like all bullshit aside, I definitely got back into my mobile game shit. Yeah, like I understand. Like I said, I understand. Mobile games, the mobile market is definitely blowing up. It's crazy because yeah. everybody got a, everybody got a device. Well, most people got a device that can play mobile games. But and these nigga, mobile games is crazy now cool. too, which is even crazier. Yeah, but nigga, I'm here for console game. Why the fuck is you showing me something that comes out on the app store? I feel that. I didn't come here to see <laughs> like you like the Ubisoft conference on the A got everybody putting uh it looked like they was about to have a Splinter Cell game and it was that fucking mobile game move. <laughs> We ain't gonna talk about that. I'm still mad. No, we ain't gonna talk about like, that. Like they, me off. they know no one cares about these mobile games. Why are you sh- making a tweet, nigga? You don't need these mobile games to be here. So anytime I see mobile games, dog, the conference immediately can only get as high as 5 out of 10. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. No one apparently felt type of way about that. My man said, don't you dare speak about mobile game about uh, Asian empires like that. Fuck that, nigga. If you're gonna show me a mobile game, show it in a tweet. Show it in a YouTube video that I ain't got to watch, that the mobile community can watch. Don't show it on no screen that millions of people is watching. Millions of people ain't here for mobile games. Oh, Biggie Spielberg is crossplay now, and it's out. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. They sent me an email. Got off your chest, my G? Right. Let us get it, out of here, it, brother. It's just so annoying, man. Go go ahead. It's just annoying. Man. All right, Rambo, you, think you got bullshit. bullshit. You think that's annoying? And now it's Medal of Honor. Shut oh up. yeah, that v- VR Shut too. Up. Hey, shut up! Nah, shut up! Right, shut, up. Shut, up. Yo, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Hey, nah, last one. Do not show me a fucking VR game if it's not about to be a ten out of ten. If it ain't a ten out of ten VR game, I don't want to see it. If it's an eight, your conference immediately gets a four. So, yeah, Gamescom gets a 4 out of 10 from me. Shut up. God damn it. Show that bullshit-ass metal on it looking like it's on a fucking 10-year-old laptop. Shut up. <laughs> that shit was on low graphical settings, man. Shut up. I don't want to talk about Metal of Honor. That shit was running on Barry PC, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shit wasn't even running on Barry PC, man. That was running on my original laptop. That took me eight hours to render a video. I could go do a full work shift. Come back, video still not finished rendered, so I can't even upload it yet. Can we, can right, we stop? Yeah. Can we stop? All right, that's the end of it. VRs get y'all conference a four out of ten. Mobile gets you a five out of ten. <laughs> so Gamescom gets a four. Matter of fact, now nah, Game Gamescom gets a three because they have oh, both bro. bullshit oh, ass. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Got off my chest. My soul. All right. Well, um. Ether, apparently. That's Love true, y'all. M- make sure y'all rate this thing. Matter of fact, ho, we gotta go through the outros. Kenny, what you gotta say to the people, man? Man, I'm saying thank you for having me here, you man. I appreciate it. That's all I gotta say. Always, baby. Hope always. these games good, man. They better know. They better start knocking price, cause I'm about to start getting IPs. Simple. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> whoop y'all to ass. But facts up. Um, Danny Son, my man. What you got, folks? Well, it's been Dennison, aka Denny Cal, aka Denny Soul, and quote unquote, <laughs> quote unquote, general of mob, a bench mob, man. And uh, 
Minecraft been hitting for the last couple hours, so I'm keep playing it. But I'm uh, glad I could be here. I fucks with y'all a lot. I this nigga here gave another hood intro outro, man. AKA, 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 AKA. AKA. That nigga should still be better than Kenny, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Any first intro with that. Hey, Big, what you gotta say to people after getting all that shit off your chest? Man, I'm just hurt, y'all. It's okay. They showed some good games. We're gonna talk about them next week. It's just I'm hurt when they be showing shit that most people don't care about. But you know, I enjoy being here. I, I get, I get to say, sit here and say shit that you know I'd usually just say in parties, but now it's recorded and shit, so other people get to hear. It. Maybe laugh at the stupid shit I say. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know, like I said, new emotes and shit, merch on the way. You feel me? Yeah, we out. Definitely about to work on merch tomorrow. We're going to be in the damn Discord chat. Oh, I'm live. I'm oh, yeah. live streaming. Oh, I'm going to need your help then. We're about to get ignorant then. <laughs> definitely definitely going to be on this merch shit tomorrow. I'm with that when I get off work. All right, big facts, big facts. Uh, Rambo, what you got, Mike? Uh, man. You know what I'm saying? Another good podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate everybody that came through and stuck with us for the whole show, man. Hey, Woo, man. Rate my nigga Quavo, man. Oh, uh, hold up. Quavo Live? Yeah, Quavo Live, man. Oh, let me get my mans in. That's that's folk right there. All right. So, uh, to everybody in the stream and whatnot, love y'all. We definitely gonna holler at y'all later. To those of y'all who watched in the live version, I'm going to go ahead and send y'all to my man Quavo. My man is playing some Call of Duty. Go in there and uh, spam uh, Quavo Sweat in the chat. You dig what I'm saying? Quavo will be banned. All right.